Hello, everyone, and welcome to No Buts About It. Today, we're going to talk about Tyler Boyd signing with the Tennessee Titans. We're going to talk about uh, basically just a thank you to Tyler Boyd. That's what the first part's going to be. Second part's going to be, what can Titan fans expect from this man, this wide receiver who they have decided to bring in, and uh, just what kind of player is he? As I said, I am Josh Butts with No Butts About It and huge Bengals fan. Tyler Boyd was one of my favorite Bengals when he was on the team. He is no longer on the team. However, he has been signed to a one-year $4.5 million worth up to $4.5 million deal. According to ESPN's Jeremy Fowler. And uh, I am so glad that... He signed with the Tennessee Titans and uh, other teams that he was rumored to possibly be uh, thinking about signing with, such as the Pittsburgh Steelers, which would have made a lot of sense since he is from Pittsburgh. So, like I said, I just want to thank Tyler Boyd. First of all, first and foremost, like if he could see this video, I would just want to say, like, uh, thank you for being a light for the Cincinnati Bengals for so many years in 2016, your rookie year, uh, the Bengals were not in a good place. And then they had that stretch where they were going like two and 14 at times. And I don't remember you ever, or I don't remember Tyler ever complaining or saying like, this sucks or I'm going to leave. No, he was someone who he stuck through it. Him and Joe Mixon, they stuck through it. They're like, we are going to build this culture. We are going to be a part of the change in Cincinnati. And that is not a knock on uh, Andy Dalton, A.J. Green, or those guys. Those guys were doing what they could, but it just wasn't working out in Cincinnati. But Tyler Boyd was a part of a youth movement, part of a group of players that got brought in. And it was like, there were just weeks where you'd watch them and you'd be like, times are changing in Cincinnati. Things are going to get better soon. And then, of course, in 2020, the Bengals drafted Joe Burrow, T. Higgins, Logan Wilson, and the rest is history. I I just, it's, it's going to be weird. This is going to be one of those players that's weird to see in a New Jersey for me. I mean, he has been such a locker room guy, in my opinion. I've loved um Every everything I've heard about him in the news, it always seems like whenever the Bengals were on uh, the down for whatever reason due to injury or other issues, uh, Tyler Boyd was one of the people who stepped up and just was like, hey, we're we know who we are. We're going to figure it out. It's going to be OK. Um, he's got that C on his chest for a reason in that photo. And uh, I'm sure it is very likely that he will also have that C on his chest in Tennessee um there's no hard feelings at all if there are any Bengals fans that are out there who are mad at Tyler thinking that he's like weird for leaving or that he shouldn't have uh decided to try to get more money at another team then I don't know what to tell you the the first thing i want to go to is the houston texans game this past season tyler boyd dropped a pass that probably very likely would have won the game that being said the Bengals did not deserve to win that game uh they played horribly the texans just played great and uh joe burrow kind of just got a fire lit under him in the fourth quarter that uh put the Bengals in a position to possibly win tyler boyd drops the ball literally and uh they lost. And people online were like, oh my gosh, this guy, he's washed up. He's awful. How is he still on the team? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that to Tyler. I just can't. Tyler Boyd um was so such a big part of what the Cincinnati Bengals were building. I mean, look at this celebration. You got the Ravens player down on the ground. Um, he's running away with the ball in a touchdown celebration. Um, he could have easily easily when he was younger left the team 
and he didn't. He decided to re-sign with the team um, and be a Bengal for a very long time. And so uh, any mistakes he made uh, near the end of his career I'm with the Bengals, I'm not going to hold against him because he he uh, held out for them. He held out for victory in Cincinnati uh, along with Joe Mixon. It's just that we are now uh, seeing a time where the Bengals are trying to get younger. They're bringing in guys like Jermaine Burton, Zach Moss at these positions and hoping to uh, build another youth movement. It's not that Joe Mixon and Tyler Boyd were bad. It's that they're getting kind of they're getting older. Uh, Tyler Boyd was that 2016 rookie. Joe Mixon was a 2017 rookie, and uh, so we're rooting for both of those guys to do well on their respective teams, the Titans and the Texans. But uh, ultimately, it is time for a changing of the guard in Cincinnati. So now, Tennessee. What are you getting? Is this guy, who is Tyler Boyd, who kind of became, went from being the, like, almost the top, maybe wide receiver two with the Bengals in, like, uh, 2019, um, 20, maybe arguably even 2018. He was at wide receiver one for a little bit, maybe, if uh, A.J. Green was kind of off. I think you're getting a great guy. I obviously am a huge Tyler Boyd fan, but I think he's he's kind of fallen to the side with guys like Jamar Chase and T. Higgins coming in. But I think Brian Callahan, who was the former offensive coordinator for the Cincinnati Bengals, was lobbying to bring in Tyler Boyd for a reason. He wanted this guy because he knew what Tyler Boyd can do for the culture in Tennessee. And that's what... That's what this year's is going to be about in Tennessee, if I'm being honest. You guys are working on building a culture. It is very unlikely, possible, but very unlikely that the Titans are going to come out just hot and fiery and make the playoffs this year. You got a young quarterback. You you got some young wide receivers. And uh, you also have DeAndre Hopkins, veteran. Now you're bringing in Tyler Boyd, a veteran. You're working on building that culture, teaching these young guys how to play. Uh, helping Will Levis develop, helping these other wide receivers develop. And I think Tyler Boyd is a perfect, perfect guy to do that. He's not maybe going to put up a 1,000 yards in a season. He might. It's very possible that he could. He's still in his potential, I believe. But he is going to help build your team up. He is going to be that light in the darkness for the Tennessee Titans like he was for the Cincinnati Bengals in the pre-Joe Burrow era. Um, I don't think that this is a super flashy signing. I think the name is probably bigger than what his athleticism is going to uh, actually produce now. Um, he's going to be a slot guy most likely. I don't exactly know how the Titans offense is structured. I haven't looked at it a whole ton, a whole lot, if I'm being honest. But uh, the Bengals like to use him in the slot a lot, and that was where he thrived. So I'd imagine Brian Callahan just kind of uh, copying and pasting that over into Tennessee a little bit. Uh, maybe he gets a bit more creative with it as well. But um, ultimately what you're getting here is going to be a – Probably a low-end wide receiver two, high-end wide receiver three at this point in his career. But you are also getting a great locker room guy, great guy to have on the team. Um, And if I was a Tennessee Titans fan and I saw that he is only costing the team $4.5 million this year, um, that's a great move you also have Calvin Ridley, who he signed for a four-year, $92 million deal. Um, DeAndre Hopkins, as we just talked about. Um, Traylon Burks. You, great, great wide receiver room that you're kind of building there, building some depth up in Tennessee very early on for these uh, young guys. I 
he's he's gonna be he's gonna be great for you guys. I'm happy that he signed somewhere <laughs> where I can kind of still root for him. Um, him being from Pittsburgh really worried me. I thought for sure he was signing with the tight or the Steelers, excuse me. Um, and, or the Kansas city chiefs after the Rashi rice situation went down. So, uh, thank you, Tennessee for signing him, but, um, you're, you're getting, I'm kind of in my feels with it right now, but, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, reach the end of this video so that I don't just start rambling, but tennis, Tennessee, you got a great guy. You got a great player. Um, and I hope that you guys treat him well. I hope you guys enjoy him. And I hope that he has some success in Nashville. Until next time, I'm Josh Butts. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And Titans fans, let me know if you're excited about this signing. I think you should be. But if you're not, let me know why down in the comments.